This is George from High Tech Legion. When it comes to cooling your CPU, you're really looking for a balance of performance to noise. You want something that's going to cool your CPU adequately, however, not make a ton of noise doing it. Obviously, you don't want something that's going to be whining away at 60 dB uh, across the room while you're trying to work. One of the companies that does it best as far as balancing cooling to noise is Be Quiet. We're going to take a look today at their newest piece, the Dark Rock 3, which is a single tower CPU cooler. Before we dig into the cooler itself, let's take a quick look at the box, a couple of features. Uh, the Dark Rock 3, 190 watt TDP. Uh, as you see, no compromise silence and performance. Like I say, Be Quiet has really had a fantastic track record with combining great performance with absolute silence. Comes with silent uh, wings fan and coming down the bottom, virtually inaudible at all levels with a max of only 21.1 dB. So it's gonna be a very, very quiet cooler. 135 millimeter silent wings PWM fan, extremely high um, cooling efficiency. So it's got very good passive cooling, uh, which means that the fan's not going to have to run so fast, which means quieter cooling all around. Dark nickel plated uh, single tower layout and compatible with Intel and AMD cooling or uh, Intel and AMD CPUs, I should say. Now, that is gonna be Intel LGA 775, the 1150 series, 1366, 2011, as well as AMD, AM2, AM3, as well as FM1, FM2. Quick round the back of the box, and you get a look at these features pointed out on the uh, picture of the cooler itself. I uh, get a couple of other things here. It's six pole fan, the silent wings, very, very quiet fan. Six pole design is great for lower vibration, uh, lower startup voltage, as well as quieter performance. And a couple of the quick uh, specs that we should take a look at. Height on the cooler is 160 millimeters, so you do wanna make sure that uh, you've got enough room in your case for the cooler. Weight is 976 grams, single tower, but it is still a very heavy cooler, so keep that in mind. Uh, not, Of course, not as going to be as heavy as a lot of the dual towers, but still, you know, good uh, weight to the cooler itself. Coming down 1400 RPM on the fan itself with a maximum CFM of uh, right about uh, 68. So good uh, specs all around there. Now let's move on and take a look at the cooler itself. The Dark Rock 3 retains the styling on the new uh, Dark Rock series that we saw first on the Dark Rock Pro 3, uh, which is the dual tower version of what we're taking a look at. Once again, you get that beautiful brushed aluminum top plate with the Be Quiet logo and these um, capped heat pipes. So you've got a great look in the case right off the bat. It's a really very, very well uh, finished cooler. Very, very nice looking. Now, of course, we've got two parts to the cooler. We've got the fan, got the tower itself. Now getting a look at the fan, which is clipped on. One of the nice things about Be Quiet also is you never actually have to remove the fan during the installation. But let's take a quick look at the fan. As I say, 135 millimeter silent wings fan, kind of an odd size, not uh, something we see very often on CPU coolers. Typically you see a 140, does use a 120 millimeter um, bolt pattern as we see here. 1400 RPM, capable of 67.8 CFM at only 21.1 dB. So incredibly quiet fan. Now it's a very, very well lauded fan as I say. Uh, you can see the Be Quiet always uses um, the rippled blades. You get less turbulence, so you get higher CFM with less noise and smoother transition. So you're gonna get a very, very quiet performance from the 135 millimeter silent wings fan. Once again, as I mentioned before, uses the six pole design. So very, very little in terms of vibration, very low startup voltage, very, very smooth transitions. Moving on to get a look at the tower in the Dark Rock 3. As I say, top plate, really nicely done in black aluminum with the Be Quiet logo and the heat pipe caps. Really nice finish there. Now, taking a look at the fins themselves, as you'll see, they are contoured in the front of the cooler. And on the rear, you've got an entirely different contour. This is done to increase air circulation and just improve um, the flow through of air 
without uh, increasing the noise. So you do get improved performance, increased airflow without an increase in noise. Now, second big thing here, as you look at the fins, uh, you can see they are dimpled all throughout. All of the fins through the array are dimpled. This gives more ser uh, surface area to each fin. More surface area means more dissipation, means better temperatures with no added noise. So very, very nice design there from Be Quiet. Now, also, going down the front, you've got two solid rubber pieces for vibration damping. The fan actually sits on these two uh, really nice solid pieces of rubber right here. Now, moving on, six six millimeter heat pipes. Once again, finished uh, copper heat pipes finished with dark nickel on the outside. So very, very nice looking. Uh, copper contact plate, again, finished in dark nickel, polished absolutely smooth to a mirror finish. Now, you'll notice on top of the contact block itself, we've got more fins. Uh, very simple here. This fin array actually is going to draw heat away from the contact plate itself. Less heat in the contact plate, less work for the heat pipes to have to do. So it actually is a very functional piece. Um, as a matter of fact, it actually resembles uh, an old CPU cooler, if you can recall back in the day, would just have that on it without any of the rest of this. So it is a very, very functional piece that you see here. So when you look down the side, you've got your fan cutouts, so you can do a push-pull. A uh, second set of fan clips is provided. You can do a second fan on the back, uh, either a 120 or another 135, or anything that's got a 120 millimeter mount. There are some 40s with 120 millimeter mounts to do a push-pull on the Dark Rock 3. Really a great looking tower, very, very well presented, and very interesting design. All of the accessories for the Dark Rock 3 come in one box and consist of the instruction manual and the mounting kit. The manual itself is well illustrated as you see here. Easy to follow pictures and it's a very easy kit to mount so not a whole lot of problems. Um, as long as you follow the instruction manual you're going to be absolutely fine. Moving on, one back plate for AMD and Intel, second set of fan clips if you're going to do a push-pull, Intel brackets, AMD brackets, small wrench, tube of thermal interface material. Looks like it'd be good for probably two uses, maybe three. And finally, just your various nuts and bolts, which we'll see uh, how they go on during the installation. Be Quiet actually uses the same mounting kit for all of their coolers. Uh, so whether it's the Dark Rock 3, Dark Rock Pro 3, any of the Shadow Rocks, the Shadow Rock Slim, uh, etc. Same mounting kit, same mounting procedure. First step is going to be prepping your mounting brackets. And as you see here, we're doing Intel. Um, so take your mounting bracket. You've got a small screw. As you can see, you've got three little cutouts inside for 776, middle for 1150 series, outside for 1366. Depending on what socket you're using, you're going to want to put the bolt through the bottom and cap it with the nut. And this is exactly where the small included wrench comes in. Once you've got it hand tight, you can take the small included wrench and snug it down. And of course, you're gonna to wanna to repeat in all four corners before we move on to putting these onto the cooler itself. Next, we're going to put our, our completed retention brackets onto the cooler itself. As you see on the sides of the contact block, you've got two slots with screw holes, which line up right there. They'll just sit right up and two small screws go in. Very important to note, you want the bend away from the tower itself. You don't want to mount it upside down with the bend going towards the tower. Bend goes away. Once you've got it into place, simply take your small screws. Line it up. And tighten them down. Obviously you don't need to go crazy with these. You just want them snug. You don't want to over tighten the screws and risk stripping it. Like I say, just snug. Next you want to get your back plate into place as you see here and simply pass your mounting screws through the four holes. Once you've got the back place and screws through, as you see, they're coming through. You can take, there's four small clips, which just clip right up against the motherboard. And onto 
the screw itself and it'll hold the screw in place while you're setting the cooler. Next, I've gone ahead and applied the thermal interface material already to the CPU and we're going to mount the cooler itself. We're going to go in and you're just going to line up the four screws with the four bolts on the cooler. Typically easiest to start, left top corner, you've got a clear shot, you've got clear vision to it, so you can get it lined up. And behind the motherboard, get your screws started and move on and get all four started. Once you've got the first one started, obviously they all line up pretty easily. And from there, you can just tighten up from the rear of the motherboard, just tightening the screws, of course, using an X pattern just until they stop. Um, once again, you don't want to over tighten. When you feel the stop, you just stop tightening and you're in. Just that simple. And last but not least, the only thing left to do is going to be hook up your fan to the four pin CPU, header on your motherboard. and you're all set. A couple things to mention. Uh, first off, when you are tightening up uh, any of the Be Quiet coolers, you do want to take some care. The uh, screws that go through the motherboard into the cooler itself uh, can be a little bit soft, so just take some care with that. You don't want to strip out the threads. All right, so now getting a look uh, at the big question that's always on everybody's mind, RAM compatibility. The fan does actually sit over as you can see, the first RAM slot, it actually sits into it a little bit. So then uh, that would be with standard height cooling. So even uh, if you were putting a standard height uh, RAM module into the first slot, you would have to just bring the fan out a little bit. Uh, your other three slots completely unimpeded. You can put in any size RAM you like in slots two, three, and four. First slot, standard size RAM, you move the fan out a little bit. Large RAM, uh, you're really not going to be able to do it unless you've got an incredibly wide case, and then you're going to lose all kinds of performance from the cooler because the fan's going to be sitting so far off the cooler. So like I say, first slot, you're blocked. Two, three, and four, you can use any size RAM you like. Now, taking a look, I mean, the Dark Rock 3 looks absolutely fantastic in the case. It's a great looking cooler, as you see. Uh, that top plate really looks nice. Very, very nice, clean install. Great looking cooler in the case. So let's take a look at the performance on the Dark Rock 3. Now, solely looking at the numbers, uh, you might think that the Be Quiet is just a tick off in terms of performance, but something very, very important to keep in mind here. With the exception of the Noctua, the Be Quiet is significantly quieter than the other coolers in this comparison. And when I say significantly, I mean a good amount. So you've got fantastic cooling to noise performance, and actually what uh, overall is very good performance from the Dark Rock 3. When you get right down to it, the Be Quiet Dark Rock 3 is really a very, very nice piece. Um, it achieves a performance to noise ratio that is almost unparalleled. Uh, we did see the Noctua NHU-12S a little bit better on the performance with similar noise. So I'm not going to say it's the absolute best as far as performance to noise. However, aside from that, I haven't seen a piece that does it as well as the Be Quiet Dark Rock 3. Now, aside from that, very easy installation. Uh, I know a lot of people find it to be a little bit finicky uh, or have found it to be a little bit finicky in the past using this kit. However, the Dark Rock 3 does offer you uh, actual visibility this time to the screws, so you're not going to be working blind. So it is a much easier install than the other Be Quiets we've seen in the past. Uh, the fan itself, fantastic. Like I say, very, very quiet, great performance. Um, and the cooler itself looks phenomenal in the case. So I'm going to give the Be Quiet Dark Rock 3 overall a High Tech Legion Gold Award. Um, on the downside, like I say, you do have um, the screws uh, which are used, which can strip if you're not careful. Also, like I say, the performance was just a tick off. However, if you're looking to do something, that, you know, a really, really nice looking build with good cooling performance and fantastic uh, cooling to noise and just dead silent, the Dark Rock 3 is a phenomenal choice and probably the top choice to go with. I mean, it doesn't give away looks to anybody. Nothing looks better in the case than the Dark Rock 3. So overall, fantastic cooling, uh, great cooling to noise ratio, beautifully made, great looking in the case. Uh, the Dark Rock 3 takes home a High Tech Legion Gold Award.